All right, so this is going to be time stamped out so you guys can get to the point where I'm just working with the Raspberry Pi. But for those that have a sense cap or a similar helium device, I'm gonna show you guys how to convert this. And we're gonna be actually using this case. So we can still use this case. To get started, what you're gonna need in, in terms of hardware is a screwdriver and a pair of pliers, as well as um, like other hardware just for Pi Fi itself is something like this, which is a, a BME 6 80 sensor as well as an aware element if you want and you have to purchase a gps uh usb uh, dongle and these can be purchased on amazon i'll have the link for it in the description it is also on the website i believe in terms of like power for the actual device you're going to need the usb c that came with the sense cap uh, that charge will work for the raspberry pi so Let's get started. What you need to do first is take off every outside screw. Now, I already converted this into a Pi Fi, so I had to undo it all, but just take out every outside screw. So I only have four left. In this case, I'm taking off both of the back plates, the front and the, the rear, and this plate comes off. I can set that to the side, and then there's also this one, which can also come off. They could actually reuse this one, but the one with all of these is not going to be needed at all. Next, you want to remove all the bottom screws. Like I said, I already took them mostly out, so I only have two left. Um, so I'm just going to remove them, set them to the side. Now, the pliers are needed for a special step in this, but when you take it out, you can just set the this case to the side, and you can use that in the future. First, what we need to do is take these two brackets off, or these two uh, mounting pins off. So sometimes they're loose enough to get off with pliers. Other times you're able to just hand twist them off, but I'm going to set these aside. And if you guys have ever worked on a Raspberry Pi before, Raspberry Pis have a whole bunch of pins right here, and this is how it's connected to this proprietary sense cap board. So once I took those two out, then I can actually separate the board. And now you have the two separate boards. And for you guys watching now, you can see I already have all these wires exposed. Um, this CPU fan, which plugs into this board, can actually be repurposed onto the main Raspberry Pi. And I'm going to show you guys how to do that. But if you already, if you want to do that, you can follow these steps, which basically there's some little glue right here. And you just have to pry the glue back a little bit and pull the actual connector off. I don't know where I put the connector. I think I might have thrown it out. But there's, it's very easy to remove these pins from the connector. You just lift up the tab and they pull out. And this makes it so that you can actually wire it up to the corresponding pins. There's a 3.3 volt, a 5 volt, and a, a ground. So you're going to, if you want to do that, I'll show you guys how to do that. I'll put the schematic up on the screen when I get to it. But you don't need this anymore. You can set it to the side. Um, there was one, um, what you might call it, one, one of these little risers that I actually took off, which I use for this BME sensor. Uh, so if you guys want to do that, you can take it off now or later. It's up to you. Now that we have the actual Raspberry Pi, we have the SD card and uh, this SD card has all the sense cap information on it. What you want to do is pretty much just make a backup of everything on it. So that way, if you ever want to go back uh, to mining helium, you still have the, the config file. So other than that, this is pretty much it. So now we can go ahead and start modifying this to work for our Pi-Fi device. Now, in terms of wiring for the fan, there are two things I wanted to note. First thing is that I've never actually had this device get to the point where it was so hot that the fan had to turn on. And the second thing is I have also not been able to figure out the wiring to have both the fan and the sensor work. Now I've had them both wired up to the ports, However, it seems that if when I have them both wired up, this sensor is not detected by Pi-Fi. And I think that's just a low power issue. I don't think it's getting the full voltage it needs. So if you guys really want to, you can connect the fan by connecting this 5 volt to the 5 volt pin in the top right. And then the black ground uh, count down by 1, 2. So it's there's a space between the first 5 volt and then there's a ground and there's going to be a, a little pin out so you guys can see it all as for the bme sensor it's really straightforward it already comes separated so you don't have to worry about disconnecting any cables or anything like that but the red pin goes to the top left which is the 3.3 volts followed by the blue pin which goes right next to it 
then the yellow pin, which goes right next to that. And then the black pin, which is ground, you do one space and then that is plugged in. So the way you can test if this all works is you take your power cord, plug it in here, and you can see the fan twitches like that as well as the green light is bullet is not blinking it's solid green and you can see the raspberry pi is on now if you guys have an issue where you see that the raspberry pi light is blinking or this is blinking pretty much if the raspberry pi is blinking you have a short somewhere you need to correct the wiring and that was the issue i was having when i connected both of these at the same time either the fan would work or the sensor would work if anyone has any fixes for this please let me know in the comments below but this is what i've been able to find so next we're going to put this all back into the sense cap device which is this pretty much just hollow shell now you're gonna have to put it in a little bit differently than how we took it out because of the way the usb c port is on this uh raspberry pi on this old board it allowed us to move the usb c port all the way over here but on this one, it's on this side. So you actually have to flip the Raspberry Pi so that it's like lit like this. And then we can uh, put it back in the sense cap uh, shell. Now, it is going to stick out on the rear. So you can see this is pretty much where it will line up and it will stick out like so. And you just have to be cautious of that. So one of these plates, this main fan plate will work and you can stick that back on here. But the other one with the Ethernet and all this stuff will not work. So just something you guys got to keep in mind unless you want to modify this. But I don't plan on modifying this. So let's get these screws in here. Uh, it's only four screws to hold this whole thing in. And it is uh, pretty straightforward exactly how we took it apart. And you don't have to put all four in. Uh, you can just do like diagonal if you want. And uh, especially over here because the pins are um, sticking out a little bit. Sometimes people don't, I, I would assume people wouldn't want to tighten that all the way, but I have not had any issues tightening it all the way. I think it keeps the wires secure um, and we can uh, go forward from there. So I'm putting in the last screw here and then I'll show you guys what I'm doing for the BME 680 sensor, which you guys can see right there. I'm actually going to take this and let's stick this wire back in here. <laughs> take this BME 680 sensor and wrap it around over here. And you guys can see it, uh, maybe the camera's showing it. Yeah, you guys can see it right there. So I'm actually gonna line it up with this hole here, stick a screw in from the back and hold it. And now I'm actually going to take this standoff, which I took off from here uh, earlier that I mentioned. I took it off from, I believe this side. Now I'm gonna take this standoff and put it on the top. It's a little bit tricky to show on camera, but you guys just kind of gotta take my word for it. Um, and then once I have that in a position where I can hold it with my finger, I can screw in that. So the BM680 sensor is in place. You guys can see that. I just straightened it out with my finger, but that's not going anywhere. And that just is, you know, a little peace of mind. Now, before you put this back plate on, like I said, you guys can reuse it. You're better off taking this opportunity to fish the USB-C port or the USB-C cable through here and connecting it because it's on this side, as well as if you haven't programmed the SD card yet, you want to do that now. So you can take the SD card out. It comes out pretty easily and we can plug this into the computer and program it. And I will show you guys the steps to do that, but I already programmed it. So I'm going to keep it in here and I'm actually going to plug in my USB-C. through here a little bit tricky to show on camera but it's very hard to miss the usb-c port pretty much everyone knows what it is now um, and boom so we got power we got these two lights on as well as this sensor light on now i can actually put on this back plate and call it a day so the last thing you guys do want to do is just plug in the gps locking and that is pretty easy. It's just a USB port and you can plug this in. And this is why it's beneficial to have this all sticking out because you have access to all these ports. So I can just plug it in here and that's it. That's how you set up your Raspberry Pi from a SenseCap and convert it into a Pi-Fi device.